Hello, Laura. Hello, teacher. Good morning. Morning. All right. So for today, Laura, we're going to have um, an advanced class, okay? Because teacher cannot have class tonight because I'm going on a trip, okay? Okay. All right. So, well, anyway, Laura, this will be our lesson for today. Okay, wait a minute because it's still opening. Okay, anyway, have you eaten your breakfast already? Yes. How about lunch? No. Yeah, because <coughs> you will eat your lunch after our short class. Okay, don't worry because this is just a very, very quick class for today. All right, let's begin now. <laughs> All right, Laura, so our lesson is Unit 42, Holiday News. All right, so now, Laura, look at the picture here. What have you already done today? Okay, so today is Saturday. It means it's weekend. So what have you done already this morning, Laura? Um, I'm... Uh, eat breakfast. Okay, you ate breakfast. I think it's finished. Oh, that's the only thing that you have done today? You just ate your breakfast? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, teacher has done this morning is I have fix the bed i have um, finished eating my breakfast i have finished four classes already this morning uh, what else i have put the hangers in the laundry area mm, that's all <laughs> that's all that i have done this morning okay Next one, Laura, have you had breakfast today? Yes. Okay, what is your breakfast? What's your food? Um, my, my breakfast is... Um, <clears throat> it's... Um, Korea. Again? What is it? <coughs> I'm eat <coughs> Korea. Cereal. Mmm. Okay. Very good. Well. When I was still young, that is my favorite breakfast. I have to put some fresh milk, right? Yes. It's very delicious. Okay, next one. Have you spoken to your friends or have you talked to your friends right now? No. No. But, but are you talking to them every day? Yes. Oh. How do you talk with each other? Do you use Zello or Facebook? Um, I'm, out. Oh, it's, um, messenger, no, <clears throat> um, do you call them by phone? <clears throat> uh, it's, um, <clears throat> uh, what is it? How do you talk to your friends? It's, a. Uh, 
in real life. Ah, in real life. So it means you go to your friend's house or do you see each other every day? Yeah. Okay, very good. So next one, Nora, have you phoned anyone yet or have you called anyone yet using the phone? No. No. Okay. Well, anyway, Laura, let's continue. So we're going to talk about already versus yet in English. Okay, so it means that we're going to talk about how to use the word already and how to use the word yet. Okay, so what does or what is the meaning of already? Can you read it, Laura? Already mean that something happened earlier than we expect. E expected. <clears throat> It meant with person perfect ten or really usually goes after half or has a before the main work. Okay. So examples are I've already seen that film. I don't want to see it again. Arriving, arriving, at arriving at the bus station. I found the bus had. Have you already take the money? He has already done the shopping. He is watching TV now. Mark has already here, but John has. Okay. So how about? The use of yet. Where do we use the word yet? Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a side sentence. Okay, so let's have some examples here. Examples. Can you read it, Laura? Michelle <clears throat> has bought a new dress, but she has worn it yet. He hasn't watered the flower yet. It hasn't been described yet. We haven't been able to solve the next problem yet. She won't have sent the email yet. It's not ready yet. Okay. So here, to make it short, already is used when the when something has been done already. Okay. So it means when something is finished or when something has done, you use the word already. And if not yet or it's not yet happening, you have to use the word yet. Okay. So example, I already ate my breakfast early in the morning. So, and yet, I haven't eaten my breakfast yet. All right? So, that is a very simple example. Okay, next one, Laura. Let's answer letter A. What has Mary already done? Tick the boxes, okay? So, I'm going to play an audio file and then you have to tick the box of the things that Mary has done already. Okay, Laura? Okay. 42A. Holiday news. Listen and tick the boxes. Hello, Dad. Oh, hello, Mary. Are you enjoying your school holiday? Yes, it's great. We're very busy. What have you done, then? Well, you won't believe this. But I've ridden a camel. You're very brave. That sounds dangerous. No, it was fine. How's the food? Is it good? It's okay. But I haven't drunk any tea. Why not? I don't like it. But the ice creams are excellent. Have you sent Mom and me a postcard? Sorry. 
I haven't written any yet. And what about photos? Have you taken any? Oh, yes. I've taken hundreds. Oh, it's so exciting here. And have you seen lots of interesting things? Yes. We visited three museums. Wow. And have you spent all your money? No. We haven't been to the shops yet. We're going to go shopping tomorrow. Oh, right. Dad, I have to go now. See you at the airport on Saturday. Okay. Bye. Okay, finish now. Yes. All right, so now let's check. So these are the things that Mary has done on holiday. So she was able to take photos, ride a camel, go send a postcard, uh, no, go to a museum and eat an ice cream. All right, well, anyway, you got three points here, Laura. Okay, let's put three points here. Okay, so anyway, let's proceed to the next one. What has Mary done on holiday? Okay, so these are the answers. All right, can you read it, Laura, please? She already ate ice cream. She already visited three million. She already take hundred of photos. She hasn't sent any postcard yet. She hasn't been shopping to the shop yet. All right. So those are the things that Mary has done on her holiday, okay? So now, Laura, I just want you to read the email that Mary is going to send her family. Can you read it, please? Dear Mom and Dad, I'm so, I'm so sorry that I have been writing to you earlier, but don't worry. I'm fine and we are having a great time. This is only a short email because I got too hungry. Uri, we are go going to visit the pyramid today. I hope you like this picture of us in the desert. I will send some more photos so, so, soon. Betty, Betty took a good one of me in entrance to our hotel. Another of us are in the pool. See you on Saturday. Our plan will arrive at about three o'clock. So I will get my black backpack and meet you at the passenger exit at about the water to four lost of love, Mary. Okay, wait a minute, Laura. I will just go and and Go to the restroom, okay? Wait for me, please.
Okay, Laura. Okay, so now let's move on to the next activity. It's complete these sentences and find your answers in Mary's messages. Okay, so now, Laura, do you still remember the details on Mary's um, postcard letter? No. Okay, well, you have to remember it because the answers will be coming from there. Okay, one more time. You see it first. Look at it first. <clears throat> because the activity will, the answers will be there. Okay. Okay. So now, Laura, let's answer this one. Number one is, example, she, she hasn't emailed Okay, so that's an example. Okay, read it now. She has an email for Karen yet. Mari has a visit. Mari hasn't has visit pyramid yet. Okay. She going to Today, Mary and her friend have an already swim picture. Picture in the pool. Mary will see her parents again at about. Um, Quarter, quarter past four on Saturday. Uh, at about, what did you say? Quarter four? Quarter to four? Yes. Okay, that's correct. Okay, so three points for you, Laura. Good job. Okay, next one. Let's have letter C. Look at Mary's photo. Listen and draw a line. Okay, so in this activity, Laura... You have to draw a line on the name and go into the picture, okay? Okay. 42C. <clears throat> Holiday news. Listen and look. There is one example. Look, David. Mary has sent us some photos of her holiday. Oh, yes. Some of the other students from her class are in this one. Look. Do you know any of their names? Yes. The girl who's inside the tent is Betty. The one that's writing some postcards? Yes. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Who's the boy that's sitting on the blanket? Do you know? That's Alex. His rucksack is very full. It is, isn't it? Is he another one of Mary's friends? Yes. He's only just started at our school. There's Katie too. She stayed in the sun too long. Look at her pink face. Oh dear, yes. <clears throat> What's she drinking? I don't know. People drink lots of tea in the desert. It might be that. And who's that? Do you mean the boy who's standing up? No, the boy on that striped chair. Oh, that's Harry. Look, he's written something in that book. Perhaps it's his diary. Who's that boy? Do you mean Kim? <clears throat> no, I don't mean Kim. I know him. I mean the boy who's put the blanket on that camel's back. Oh, that's Michael. He's got lots of pockets in his shorts, hasn't he? <laughs> Sarah's been to lots of different countries.
because her dad is a pilot. Wow, that's exciting. Which girl is she? The one who's looking at that map. Oh, with the scarf round her head. Yes. Perhaps she doesn't want the sand to go in her ears. Okay, finish now. Yes. All right, let's check. <clears throat> so this one, oh, wait a minute. This one is Alex. This is Kitty, correct? This is Harry, correct? This is Hugo. This is Sarah. Oh, you got two points here, Laura. Two points only. Okay, anyway, let's continue. Letter D. Look at Mary's photo. What differences can you see? Okay, so now, Laura, you have to find the differences between the two photos here. Picture one. Uh, a girl in a... Table sitting to the table is drink the tea, but picture two the girl is writing. Mm -hmm. Writing okay. picture one the man who looking to the map is wearing a tall but picture two the man is wearing a purse picture one the the man um is A man the man <clears throat> a man the man who is make a water. The man is making water, the picture so the man is make a food. Mm -hmm. Picture one next to the man have a girl, but picture two don't have a girl. Mm -hmm. Picture one on the the ten ha don't have a flag, but picture two have a flag. Picture one, the camel to one camel is sitting and one camel is standing, but picture two, two camel is sitting. Mm -hmm. Picture one. Oh. Back next to the camel, have a mat, but picture two, it have a orange. Okay, it has orange. Finish. Okay, let's see. So here are the differences in the picture. Number one, <clears throat> the girl's wearing a long dress with camels on it. She's wearing a dress with butterflies on it, too. The man's making tea on a fire. He's making pasta. Three, someone's closed the book on the table. Someone's opened the book. Four, the boy is looking at the map, has got a torch in his hand. He's got a brush in his hand. Five, 
There's no flag by the entrance to the tent. There's a flag. Six, only one of the camels is sitting down. Both of them are sitting down. Okay, so well, you have given me um, six. All right, so you got six differences also in the pictures. Good job, Laura. Okay, so next one, Laura. This is a letter of Nick, of Mary to Nick. Okay, so in this activity, Laura, you have to read this one and complete it with the with your own words. Okay. Dear Nick, we are already been here for four days. There are there are. So many amazing things to see here. We are a real visit museum. Uh, what is it? There. There are. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, there are so many amazing things to see here. We are already visit a museum. Mm -hmm, a museum. And had gold, gold toy and red coat in it. Museum, what is it? And and which we are been to the T three two. I understood the app tall because they because they. Speak. Speak or spoke. Okay, I will accept that. In English, the story was about a famous queen who lived. Who lived? Yes. For thousand years ago, this evening our teacher is going to take teacher take me and and my classmate to a restaurant that outside the city and I listen and I'd like to wash and dry my hair and shed my coat. I have to go now. Yes, I finished the letter. See you next week at school, Mary. Okay, so very good. So you got four points here, Laura. Good job. Okay, so now let's talk about the questions here. Okay, number one, Laura, what places has Mary been to? Yes, sir. <clears throat> what did she see at the museum? See, see, um, gold tie and red coat. Okay, so number three, what language did the actor speak? English. Where's the restaurant? 
uh, outside the city. Okay, it's outside the city. Okay, so let's continue. All right, so now, okay, well, you have, you have nothing done, nothing done for today. So let's open the next activity, Laura. Wait for me. Alright, so now now Laura, let's have this one in 43. Have you ever? Alright, so now let's talk about present perfect tense. Okay, can you read the pattern, Laura? I have dressed Lucy. No, no. Subject plus have or has plus past participle. Okay, so the example is. I have tried sushi. Okay, I have tried sushi. So in a negative form, there is subject plus have not or has not plus past participle. So example. I have not tried sushi. And last one, when you have to make a question, there's have or has. The subject plus past participle example. Have you dressed sushi? Okay, so now Laura, these uh I will give another example. Okay. Um she has um she has finished. She has finished doing her homework, okay? So in the negative one, she has not finished doing her homework. In the question form, has she finished doing her homework? Okay, so how about Elora? Can you make a sentence like that? Baby have to finish eating. Baby have not finished eating. Have baby finished eating. Okay, again, again, again. Baby, baby have finished eating. Uh -huh. Baby have, has not. <clears throat> it, it's a, it's a, <clears throat> have has baby finished eating? Okay, has baby finished eating? Okay. All right, so now, Laura, let's answer letter A. Write the words to complete the questions. Okay, example, have you ever gone to a concert? Okay, number one. Have you ever sleep in the tent? Have you ever sleep in a tent? Okay, very good. Number two. <clears throat> Have you ever eat with? Have you ever? 
ate or eat with? Ate with chopstick. Okay, very good. Ethan, number four. Have you ever with a spot? Have you um, ever? Win. What's the past uh, tense of win? Uh, I don't know. Past tense of win is won, okay? Have you ever uh, won? Uh, have you ever won a sport competitive? Okay. Competition. Okay, very good, Laura. So all your answers are correct. Step 10, Eden, Chopstick, 1, and Sports. Okay, so now let's continue. Next one, number 5. Have you ever fight to... What's I that? Know. Well, that's that's also quite difficult. Let's see. Have you ever flown to London or New York? Or okay, that's London. Okay, next one, Laura. Have you e you ever break? Oh, what's the past tense of break? I don't know. Okay, it's okay. Oh, you see, answer first. Have you ever break? Break a leg or a hand? Hand? That's not the hand. Arm. Arm. Let's see. Have you ever broken a leg or an arm? Last one. Have you ever? Have you ever said hand mm -hmm. of famous people? Matt, a famous people or person. Okay, so this one is wrong. Arm and person. So six, seven, eight. Eight points for... You okay? So next one, Laura. Let's talk about the use of "have you ever." Okay, the use of "have you ever." So when we want to ask a question about something that happened anytime before now, we say "have you ever." So can you read examples, Laura? Have you ever visited with your parent a place you really love? Has she ever visited a place you really hate? Have you ever spoken? With a firm of people. Okay, so those are some examples on how to use have you ever. So when you when somebody asks you, have you ever um question, the answers must be like this. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Yes, she has, or no, she hasn't. Okay. okay. And also you can use the word never. No, I have never visited a place I hated. Okay, so now, Laura, let's make sentences about this one, okay? Okay, now, Laura, can you make a sentence um, using the word here? Number one, everyone has... Everyone has... I don't know. Okay, so how about most of us? Uh, 
How about most of us? I don't know. Okay, so I will give this one to you as your homework, okay? So now okay. you're going to make a sentence using these words. Okay, wait a minute. Let me take a photo of it. Wait a minute. Okay, so this will be your homework. Homework. Write and complete these sentences. Okay, so that's all for today, Laura. So let's continue again on Tuesday, okay? Don't forget to do oh. your homework. Okay. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.